Hey, Tony here, Random Ventures 2.0. Where are we at and what are we doing? <laughs> so where we're at, we're in the middle of the woods. And what are we doing? Well, we're going to hammock camp next to this busy road. Oh, my goodness. This is busy. Now, if you remember, a couple weeks ago, we did a stealth camp near a coal plant. That's over there. I came this way this time. I wanted to get closer to the road, all right? Uh, I gotta pick some trees out. We gotta get this backpack off. Oh, it's gonna be a noisy night. All righty, here we go. So the first thing I wanna do is get my backpack off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lots of cars. Yeah, there is. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this tree for my backpack. Just get it off and lean it up against here and we got to get set up. It's not supposed to rain tonight, but I think I'm still going to put the tarp out. All right, comes a big tractor trailer. Ah, don't look up here. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be traffic all night long. <laughs> yeah, there is. So we got a ridge line in here. So this is the one we're going to use and we got to pick out our two trees. I've already got an idea. I think I, one of them is going to be that one right there. And then that one straight across from it. So that end just has a carabiner on it. Just goes around the tree. Do that and I'm just untwangling it. <laughs> All right. I want to go this tree over here. So this is that one wind ridge line. So when I was down in North Carolina, I had it set up. So it's, it's pretty much in the same spot that I needed. I might move it this way just a tad. All right. So we just go around the tree. Now this is 40 feet. This is the one wind uh, reel. I've taken it out of the reel because it's easier for me to deploy and then also to reel back up. I was having trouble with my stroke side getting it to reel back up. Just, it was a little more difficult. <laughs> so I found it's easier for me just to do it like this. All right, there we go. So our ridge line's all up. So the only thing we got to do next is we are going to get into our backpack and start pulling out our tarp and other stuff and uh, get the clips undone. Uh, the tarp should be right on top. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I brought the game cam. Uh, so hopefully we can use our game cam as well. So I got the... Uh, the um, one wind tarp this is the one that's got the doors on it so we're gonna go ahead and hang that up there and go from there end of the tarp has a uh, little carabiner on it and we're just gonna go ahead and hang that on that first prusik knot now i'll just pull it out and uh if we didn't want to deploy this right now we didn't ha we wouldn't have to i can just let it there and if it starts looking like it's gonna rain we can get it out but I think I want to do it for a little bit of cover. So let's walk this out. I'm just going to loosen this, open the bag up, and uh, walk it out across. Actually, I put this in a snake skin the last time I used this one. <laughs> so it is in a snake skin. So you know what? We'll probably let it up there in the snake skin and then not get it out all the way. I think we'll just let it like that until, uh, until we see rain coming. Yeah, I forgot I put the, <laughs> this tarp in this uh, snake skin here, so that's good. So like I said, we'll just leave it in the snake skin. If we don't have to use it, we'll just pack it up in the morning. But we'll go ahead and give it a pull so it's tight. So we'll just have that sitting up there like that. All right. Well, I got to get the hammock. I uh, moved my, moved my backpack over closer to the tree. Uh, so I've got the buckle strap here. So this has a carabiner on it also. Now this is the uh, one wind hammock as well. This is the 11 foot airy hammock uh, double. All right, so I am gonna strap that up. Oh, 
I kind of got my hair cut and my beard trimmed. <laughs> All right. I was looking a little homeless there for a little bit. <laughs> oh, I should have done a homeless stealth camp. Uh, I guess I got to grow it back. Everybody said they like it shorter. <laughs> I don't know. I was getting pretty wild down there at the North Carolina hammock hangers. I realized when I watched that video, oh, it was getting really bushy, my beard and everything. So I decided to go get a trim. All right. Well, <laughs> stop yapping and get to hanging. <laughs> <laughs> so this has got a carabiner on this side we're just gonna hook that one to the tree there we go and then we're just gonna walk the backpack the whole way over to the other side and we'll let it come right out <laughs> right out of the backpack There is a million and one ways to... Oop! <laughs> it flipped out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> set the backpack down. Yeah, it just popped out of there. Usually I set it down and then I'll go ahead and pull the rest of it out so it doesn't lay on the ground. Uh, but... Uh, that should be good. We'll just adjust it once we get it oh, up in the air. Yeah, that's looking good. <sighs> All right, now we just got to adjust it, get the right sit. Uh, I don't think people are going to look up from there. I don't know. A lot of cars. Yep. So what I did the last time, so this is the under quilt. I got it snapped or clipped up onto the uh, continuous ridge line. I'm just gonna unsnap it here. Get that one off, get this one off. <laughs> so, and what I did is I snapped <laughs> the top quilt, all right, because it snaps to the bottom quilt. I snapped that together over top of the continuous ridge line to kind of keep it all together because I just packed it away from North Carolina. I got the hammock right there and I've got the under quilt and then I got our top blanket right there. All right, I put this, I think that's, uh, might have to tighten that buckle just a tad. Yeah, so we're all adjusted. So I think uh, one of the things you can do is if you don't want your top blanket, you can actually put it underneath or in between. This is what makes it a four season. Uh, if you had a separate top quilt, you could put this top blanket underneath of your hammock. So you have your hammock on the top and you've got your, all your other stuff underneath and you just button it up, give it a quick snap there. So I am going to sit on this, but I'm going to keep this out of the way until later on this evening. That way I don't got to push it around to sit down and stuff like that. Really convenient. So we'll just stretch it out and give it a snap. Okay, I think before it gets too late, we got to go put up our game cam. Oh, there's another car. <laughs> yeah. All right, we walked up from camp. And there's the road down there. We came up this little old, I guess it's an old logging road. Oh, look at the moss. Oh, the moss is starting to come out, getting green. But yeah, I'm walking up. I wanted to get up away from camp. You can see the mountain just kind of goes up that way. I walked in on the trail. It's a bike trail. That's right here. It goes that way. And then we came from that direction. Oh, look at all this conglomerate rock. It's got all the quartz in it and stuff. But I'm not seeing any sign of game right now. But I'm gonna keep looking around for a trail and a good place to set up the camera. Oh, look at that big rock. Yeah, just on the other side of that big rock there, I found a road. <laughs> it goes all the way down that way. Hmm, wonder where that goes. Maybe ATVs and stuff run out, run out through here. Bikes, I don't know. 
yeah. So right down that direction is the road. Over there, just just under the sun, is the power plant, that coal power plant. And where I camped the last time is way over that way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't see any little trails. Oh, am I going to keep looking? All right, I found a tree, <laughs> so I've got to get it all set up. But I got it strapped to the tree, and this is what we're looking at. Um, so there is that road right over there. Um, and then right here is that bike trail. But such a nice trail, I'm thinking that animals would use it as well. The only thing I saw on there is bike tracks. Uh, but the way that the camera is set up, I, I'm thinking right about there would be a, about a view but it should catch anything coming down that road or maybe down this trail right here. Well, all we can do is set it up and see what we catch. Yeah, there's a nice little bike trail here. I'm hoping game use it. I'm, I keep looking for uh, any signs of game and I'm not seeing any. Oh well, <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you just come out to a spot and just give it a try. Ah, uh, we're giving it a try. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, I can see camp from here. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to go back up the bike trail and cut down that old logging road. Yeah, I walked over here to the edge of the road. Or, well, we're still up on the bank. But I wanted to show you the road a little closer. So this is uh, Route 54 that goes down towards Mount Carmel. That direction. And Elysburg going the other way. There's a billboard right down there, and here comes another car. All right, but our camp in relation to this spot right here, I don't want to move while that car's going by. I actually couldn't see the driver's face, so I think we're pretty good. But camp's just right over here. See these trees. Right there it is. And so we're going to. I gotta set the table up yet and then show you what we're eating. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a good spot to cook. Uh, yeah, because I can set the table up right here. So this is that Trexology table. Yeah, the sun's starting to go down. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be nice once it goes down. I wanna see if I can catch maybe a time lapse of that. I think that's always cool, but it's gonna go down going to go right behind that power plant so I don't know what kind of time lapse we can get but maybe we'll try so the Trexology table this is the uh, base no that's the top <laughs> base is this so what I generally do is I take it and go like this grab it here grab it here I go like that <coughs> like that and then I go <laughs> well that's how I do it <laughs> you might have to do it differently but voila there's our table and we're gonna set that right about there <laughs> well uh, what are we having well this is our dinner and our breakfast bag uh, so I'm not gonna do a big elaborate cook because we're going to Maha in a couple days and uh, we'll be down there uh, which is the um, Mid-Atlantic uh, Hammock Hangers Association get-together. That's uh, Dutch where Dutch puts it on down there. And uh, I signed up for that a little while back. And uh, we're going to be getting down there. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. I was down the other day just to check it out, see what it looks like. But they, it's going to be at um, Ambush, which is a paintball airsoft uh, field and park and there's there's people that have signed up for uh, the airsoft I said and they asked if I was gonna play and I was like nope <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be a very good moving target I'd be a standstill target because I can't run yeah is <laughs> I could be a sniper oh yeah, but I got to get to the spot first uh, I don't think I'm gonna play well we'll see but I think you already had to sign up anyhow What's for dinner? Ooh, what's in my bag? Ooh, we got some uh, Swift coffee. That's the, I brought the Brazil one. Um, 
So I got the Brazil one, and I think I got another one too. Uh, what are we having? Oh, I got my cup. <laughs> the Random Adventures 2.0 cup. This one my daughter made me. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what else do we got in here? Oh, it's like a surprise, surprise. Oh, there's our meal. So uh, when I said I wasn't going to cook, cook, what we're going to do is I picked this up at REI the other day. I always wanted to try this one. This is uh, Kung, uh, Kung, K-U-N-G, Payo beef. <laughs> Kung Po beef, I think. That's how you say it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the Alpine Air Meal. This is two servings. I don't know if I can eat two servings. Uh, no, we'll give it a try. <laughs> so with these, you just heat up water. And I am going to heat up water in our fire maple. It's kind of like a jet boil. It's their their brand. It's only about 70 some dollars, like half the price of a jet boil. Uh, but we're going to use that. Oh, I got the camo camo one so it's got this nice cover on it but fire maple so we're going to use this one it's got a great lid i got to break it all out get that going uh oh what's for dessert i see it <laughs> oh wait this no i don't <laughs> this one <laughs> this one's not the dessert bag this is that's breakfast in here all right well I'll have to show you what dessert is later. You'll have to stay tuned to see what's for dessert. <laughs> well, there's our fire maple. So all the components go right inside of here. This is a one and a half liter. I think uh, most of your jet boils, I think they're only one liter. So this is a little bit bigger of a pot on the top, but everything just unscrews and stores right in here. Now we do have a great like that we can put on there which we're gonna do later because we're gonna cook our dessert on that <laughs> yeah so all right well I got to get water in here and get that going because we're gonna heat our water up uh, about, oh, about there yep I if I have a little leftover I'll just use it for my coffee yeah I will <laughs> Yeah. All right. So turn it on. This has a uh, automatic igniter right on the side there. So we're going to turn the gas on. Ooh, it's a flaming. Get that boiling. And we'll set that down right about there on the table. Get the lid on. And get our package open. So you want to remove the oxygen absorber, <laughs> not extra spices. It says on there, do not eat. <laughs> they actually had to probably put that on there because somebody ate it, <laughs> right? All right, so Kung Po beef. Ah, looking in there. Ooh, I see peanuts. Oh, who'd have thought? <laughs> There's peanuts in there. Oh, I don't know what all the ingredients are, but oh, I've got something to kick it up a notch too that I brought along. That's in that bag. Let's get the water poured in and then then we'll go from there. Oh, steamy. <laughs> Look at that steam coming off of there. Oh, don't pour it on my lap. good so you want to mix it up and then oh I got to get my spoon and then you seal it up and then let it set usually it's 10 minutes yeah about 10 minutes and then let stand 10 to 12 minutes uh, stir again and serve so I'm gonna stir that up and then let it sit for about 10 to 10 minutes. There's another tractor trailer. <laughs> so 
I just saw Wegman's tractor trailer go by and it's like, oh, it's like right there. But fortunately, they're, I'm not in line with their headlights, so the headlights will go up the, up the mountain. Oh, we got a nice sunset going there. Yeah, we do. That's a looking good. Ooh. Ah, it smells good. So I, I didn't read to you what this is, but it says bold, spicy, and sweet paired with beef, peppers, and rice. So you can see it in there. It all swelled up. So it said to stir it again. I wanted to eat now before it gets too dark because because when I turn my light on, <laughs> if there's any cars coming, they'll see me. They'll be like, what's a light doing on up there? All right, so I am gonna, I did not try this yet at all. I'm thinking about, I think I wanna try it and see how spicy it is before I put this in there. So this is Angry Goat Peppers, Pepper Company black bison hot sauce As, uh, <laughs> I didn't try that yet either all right but I want to try this first I get a little spoon yeah. that looks really good yeah it does <laughs> all right first bite Mmm. Ooh. Crunch of the uh, peanuts. <laughs> That's kind of spicy. Yeah, it is. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give this a try by itself. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we're going to... <laughs> we'll just get a drip, drip on there. I want to see what it tastes like. This does about adding it to this. Okay, that's got a um, pretty. It's not hot. It's spicy, but it's not hot. Um, Miss 2.0 would say it's hot. So I got a little bit of that on here. That buffalo. Buffalo. Oh, black bison hot sauce. Angry Goat Pepper Company. Ooh, that's hotter. That's hotter than that. So we're going to kick that up a notch. Oh, hit me in the back of the throat now. <laughs> oh, I just poured a lot of that in there. We'll mix that up. see if that changed the flavor not that it wasn't good by itself yeah that's perfect so adding a little bit of, to kick this up a notch good idea and all the when it's mixed in there it's not as hot or maybe it is. I feel it on the back. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and finish eating this. Watch that sun setting. And bring you back later. All right, I'm all done eating. Sun's going down and the car's got their headlights on. Like I said, I don't think they can see me when they're driving. Now, did I like that meal? <laughs> the Alpine Air. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so That one I didn't care for. Didn't care for it at all. Did not get the 2.0 approval. Nah, not even with adding the hot sauce to it. Oh. I don't think anybody will see my little light on up here, especially when they're going that direction. <sighs> you know what? I think I'm going to have my dessert a little earlier than I was going to. What are we having? Well, 
<laughs> Let's go <laughs> find out. There goes a Walmart truck. <laughs> so I've seen an Amazon truck go that way. So if you're that way, and you got a package coming, it'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> so I have. Oh, let's get the dessert bag out. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a, well, I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee with this too. Louisiana crunch cake. Yeah, so we're going to have that. So we're going to do the uh, um, 2.0 Louisiana crunch cake pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> so I've got that. I've got, oh, what is this? This is the butter and brown sugar. <laughs> digging around in here oh 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 there it is we got the pineapples so this is that little dole cup of pineapples uh, dig around in the bag <laughs> and last thing some cherries and cherry juice so I just put them in these little cups make it easier instead of bringing the whole big bottle out so we're going to do that in our 500 ml titanium cup on that burner. So I will get started in a minute. <laughs> I got to manage this light. Yes, I do. Okay. Hurry. Oh, this is going to be really tricky. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because <laughs> I got the light, but I got the light kind of blocked. Ooh, <laughs> we're doing this down on the ground. All right, I got to get this fired off. See, see, I took the top off and put the uh, part on where we can set our cup on there. But <laughs> first thing that's going to go in here is going to be our butter and brown sugar mixture. That's butter and brown sugar mixture. So we want to melt that a little bit. You don't want to keep it on the heat too much. This does not take long to cook at all. Yeah. Oh, good. So the next thing you want to do, uh, I want to get some liquid in there. I put the pineapples with all the juice right in there. Everybody in there. So those are those pineapple tidbits that'll help it from uh, sticking on the bottom just make sure it's all mixed up and while we're at it we might as well put our cherries in there and some of the cherry juice she's a bubbling because I put all the liquid in here I'm just going to boil it down Get a little thicker. Ooh, that's hot. And I'm just making sure that the bottom doesn't burn. Ooh, look at all them pineapples. Yum. And cherries. So that was bubbling pretty good. So we're going to turn that down. We're going to take our crunch cake. Right there it is. Our Louisiana crunch cake from Walmart. And we are going to drop it right in the hole. Boop. <laughs> there you go. And then I always just tap her down. Ooh, submerge it. Let it get in there and soak up all that goodness. And then you can, you can put a lid on it and let it sit. This cup here, I didn't, I didn't bring the lid. But it's pretty warm dessert here so I gotta let that cool down anyhow so leaving the lid off will be good well it's time to eat it and <laughs> to bite it we'll get a good piece here oh I think this might still be too hot All right I'm gonna hold it up Look at that drippy goodness. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I already know what it tastes like, and I can't wait. It's better than that meal I had.
Mm. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it always has a 2.0 approval, right? <laughs> when I leaned back, I looked up. There's the moon. Oh, too cool. We got a. It's not full, but it's it's gonna give us some light. Yeah, well, uh, I gotta get these lights off. But oh, let me show you another bite of that. Oh, and it's a big bite there. If you've never had this, you have got to try it. Yum. Oh. <laughs> There we go. We're going to heat up a little bit more water. Um, so I'm going to have a cup of coffee. You can see I got the light out. That's because there's cars going by. There I am. <laughs> yeah. So what am I going to have? I am going to have... I'm going to put it in the cup. So man, that dessert was good, but that's been a while. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Swift coffee. Which one's this one? I can't see. The Brazil. I'm gonna pour the water right in the cup that we had our dessert. And so, two things at once. We'll clean out the cup with our coffee. Oh, I think that water's about done boiling. That's fast. Climbing the hill. Ooh, time for our coffee. I gotta do this quick. <laughs> There's another, another truck coming. Oh, it just went down. <laughs> okay, so this is the Brazil coffee. We're gonna put it right in here. Oh, it's like a powder. <laughs> That's different than an instant coffee. They call it instant because you can have an instant cup of coffee. Not that it's an instant coffee. If that makes any sense. Ooh, that smells good. All right, let me pour that in the other cup, and I'll talk to you when I'm done with doing that. Oh, I got to get this light off. Okay, there it is. Ooh, I'm ready to have my coffee. Cheers. <laughs> oh, I'm drinking coffee so late at night. Mmm. <laughs> That one's good, especially with the uh, Louisiana crunch cake uh, mixture in there. All right. Well, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Now, that's a good cup of coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Ah, that's got a great flavor. Besides the Louisiana crunch cake taste, that's got a good flavor to it. Brazil. Hmm. Very good. Oh, there's another car. All right, you can see the coal power plant up there and I'm scanning you down the road. It's dark. There is a car coming right there. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the car going and we're right over here. I put the O-Light O-Bulb inside the hammock so it's shining straight up that's on the highest setting and you can see what that looks like oh there's a, another car this one's going down the road and another and another yeah. where's everybody going <laughs> yeah all right it's getting late i'm gonna Maybe do one more thing and then I'm going to hit the hammock. Yeah, this is the uh, Wuban Night XO. <laughs> I wanted to show you that real quick. Oh, this is a cool little light. I keep this on my backpack on this little thing here. Uh, USB charges. Really cool. But it is bright. Let me show you. Wait for them cars to go by. <laughs> so here's that little light. Oh, turn on. There we go. So that's the lowest setting right there. You can see it's shining. And you hold the button down, it'll kick it up a notch. 
that's one more notch yeah and then one more that's super bright <laughs> yeah oh look at that shining up the woods oh we gotta turn that off before a car comes yeah some people uh say hey <laughs> how are you out stealth camping with the all them lights <laughs> shining around well i manage the light because <laughs> you got to but if i didn't turn a light on you wouldn't see me like right now <laughs> you don't see me at all but i'm here <laughs> oh that's bright <laughs> Well, as you can see, I am in the hammock, and there's no ridgeline light on here. That's, we can't use it tonight because we're right next to the road. Oh, <laughs> the old light, old bulb shine. All right, well, so far it's been a really nice camp. It, it's only getting down to 42 tonight, so I'll be great. Um, this weekend it's going to be colder, so it's going to be like 61 and I think the one night it gets into the upper 30s down there at Maha but we'll be good because we got our top blanket and we got our under quilt um, yeah so I will be good for tonight I'm sliding up a little bit <laughs> all right well I am gonna go to bed I got undo this snap up here oh, where's the snap at Oh, there it is. Ah, there we go. I had the one, one snap one. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. It is eleven. Oh, <laughs> it is eleven o'clock. <laughs> the snap just let go. It is eleven o'clock, so I am gonna go to bed, and I will see you in the morning. Okay. No cars came by while we were doing all that. Oh, but there's one coming now. All right. Lights out. Good night. See you in the morning. Hurry before the car comes and sees a light. <laughs> Ah, I think it's time to get up. We need coffee and I don't know if I'm going to have breakfast or not, but I'll show you what we were going to have, but maybe I'll make it still. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful sunrise there. And it's about 745. So we're slumbering this morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that traffic was all night long all night long trucks coal trucks this morning all kinds of stuff uh, it's dying down a little bit no <laughs> it's not oh we got to go get our game cam all right so two tractor trailers three uh, <laughs> okay Let's get up and get some coffee. Definitely a lot of vehicles in the morning. Uh, so I am going to make a cup of coffee. And uh, this morning I'm going to have the Swift Twilight, which is a dark. It's a Twilight Dark coffee comes in that satchel so just that little pack there's i think six in here yep six so <laughs> we're not gonna drink all six but i'll get the water started so 
I was going to have this delicious oats. Uh, am I hungry? Am I not hungry? Am I kind of hungry? That's a lot of food. Two servings. Now this is the chocolate or oh, cherry chocolate. It takes 42 seconds to prepare it. It's overnight oats. You soak them overnight and then you eat them. Uh, or you can heat it up with hot water. I'll tell you what. Uh, I think I'm going to save them. <laughs> yeah. But these are really, really good. This is that chocolate cherry. I've had this one before. When I did the mall camp, uh, we soaked it overnight and I ate them. Uh, they got five different flavors. I've had all but one. There's one I haven't eaten yet, but they're all great. But that's a lot of food. And, you know, I'm really not that hungry. So, ah, uh, but I am ready for coffee. So, oh, let me fire this up and get this started because we got to go get our game cam <laughs> oh i hope we got something i heard something walking over here a little little earlier in the morning i don't know if they would have went by our game cam or not well we'll see there's our coffee you can see how fine that is in there <laughs> oh i could just eat it <laughs> right out of the pack so we're going to use our Mr. 2.0 uh, cup that my daughter made me. Oh, that's nice. Pour our hot water in. Ooh, don't want to pour that on my lap. <laughs> that would be hot. Yes, it would. Uh, give it a quick stir. And just dissolves so fast because it's a powder. You can actually uh, dissolve it in cold water too and have like an iced coffee. Now, a couple of you have asked, Tony, where do you get that Swift coffee? And I get it from uh, a company in Lancaster, which is uh, Swift uh, Coffee in Lancaster. Oh, look at that. It's steaming. Ah, that's a good cup of coffee. <laughs> I know it's good because I've had this Twilight before. This is a dark, it's got like a chocolatey flavor to it. Uh, uh, nothing like smelling a cup of coffee in the morning, except for drinking it. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Well, cheers. Uh, salute day and good morning. <laughs> yeah. Now that's a good cup of coffee. <laughs> if you wonder why I say that, that's the very first video I ever made was called Coffee in the Woods. I went out and I drank a cup of coffee that the sun was over past my cup. And I was like, that's a good cup of coffee. Now I did burn my tongue on that, on that first one. I've learned since then, uh, keep it down. <laughs> big truck uh, all right let's go let's go get our game cam and check that out yeah i think it's a i i think it's the right decision i'm not having uh this in the morning but uh, i love this stuff yeah i do uh, oh that's right uh <laughs> I was gonna uh, squirrel <laughs> but this swift coffee there is a uh, um uh, link down in the description for for both these items not that i'm pushing them uh, if you want to try them it's just there for your convenience as well all right well i'm gonna go get the game cam so just coming back hopefully we got something well we're i we know we're gonna get something we're gonna get me walking up to it uh, open it up turn it off Oh, yeah, we got something. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so, that is so cool that we finally got something on here. Now, I looked at the little screen there, uh, and you really can't, I can't tell, but it looks like a raccoon, but then it doesn't. It's so little on the screen. I'll have to work on getting that off of there. Uh, so we can see that. <laughs> I'll include it somewhere in here before the end of the video. But we're going to go ahead and break down camp. Uh, I'm going to keep my hat and this hat on because it's, it's uh, like 39 degrees. Uh, I thought I was getting down to like 41, uh, but it ended up dipping down to 39. Still a little chilly. <laughs> I might put my puffy jacket on, but I'm going to be working to get this down. All right, I cup kept it nice and warm. Man, a lot of trucks. All right, so, you, you know, I realized for the first time that everything I've got here to, for last night was, was One Wind products. Yeah, we got the One Wind tarp right here with the snake skin. In the ridge line, that's the uh, One Wind ridge line. And then we got our one wind straps that came with the hammock. Uh, and then the continuous ridge line that came with the hammock as well. Uh, well, not continuous ridge line. This is the uh, structural ridge line that runs out across. And the hammock, the under quilt, and our top blanket. So this whole setup <laughs> is one wind here. Uh, I think that's the first time that I ever used all of those components together. <laughs> so <laughs> I've just been doing different stuff, but mostly the hammock and stuff. But I was using that one tigress tarp, uh, but yeah, we didn't even have to deploy the tarp last night. Yeah, but it is supposed to rain in a little while, about uh, three more hours, it's gonna be a shower. So, yeah. Ooh, finally no cars. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> All right, let's start to get camp broke down. Okay, there you have it. Everything's back in the bag. Check the trees. Because there is a many a times that people leave their ridge line up in the trees. But you can see this is our spot. Leave no trace. Uh, it's a looking like it was when we got here. All right. This is a great spot. I'm really liking it. The only thing I don't care about is the amount of traffic that's on this road. I think I've seen just about every manufacturer's truck delivery truck <laughs> and <laughs> in the area big lots um, Wegmans Walmart everybody yeah that's a busy road yep but a great spot all right well I think this is where I'm going to show you the what we picked up on our game cam all right here it is. Here you go. And so Mr. Raccoon walked into our trail cam and he's looking around. He gets up and he does that for quite a while. He's sniffing in the air. He smells something. He's thinking about, should I go keep going? <laughs> Something's down there. <laughs> I was just down over the hill and this is at 219 and I actually got up at two o'clock in the morning. He looks around and he goes, nope, I'm out of here already. Oh, trucks and trucks and trucks. <laughs> All right. So that was pretty awesome. That's the first time we ever saw anything on our game cam. So that was pretty cool. All right. Well, there's only one thing left to do besides me drinking this coffee, but I am going to drink this coffee, put the cup away, put the pack on and hike on out of here. So what's left? Well, how about cue the music? There it is. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I want to say thanks a lot for coming along. Uh, if you can't get out and have your own adventure, keep coming along with me. I think we're having an awesome time. 
And remember, it's just one adventure at a time. All right, well, if you didn't ever hit the subscribe button, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and do that? I'd really appreciate it. Maybe the like button too if you're already subscribed. Help push these videos out. And uh, if you think about it, you might want to hit the notification bell because that'll let you know whenever we're doing another random adventure. Uh, next thing we're going to do, I hmm, think the next place is uh, we're going to Maha, which is uh, a hammock hang down in Lancaster. It's the Mid-Atlantic uh, Hammock Hangers Association. So I will see you there. And until then, you have an awesome week. All right, Tony 2.0, Mr. 2.0, out.